I hate doing voiceovers, but um, hi. I've had a few people ask me about my Yamiko wig, so I recorded the process, but it did stop recording like halfway through, so I only have like half of it, so just a heads up. But I started the wig by just like brushing it out and making sure like it was like smooth and stuff, and then I started like splitting it up so that it would be in the different section. After I sectioned off the wigs, I started teasing it so that I could add volume to it so it would be easier to style, which is basically just backcombing, if you can see here. Um, and then once it's all like poofed up and tangled, you want to spray it with hairspray. I prefer using Got To Be, which is like a wig glue. And then you blow dry it to set the hairspray and like warm the fibers so that it'll hold its shape. And then you kind of just do that with a bunch of different sections of the hair until you get the whole thing. So this is what it'll look like when it's basically all um, teased. And then you just want to like give it another quick spray with the hairspray that got to be. Then you just blow dry it again and then you let it cool because you don't want to brush it out while the fibers are still warm because then it won't hold the shape. You want to make sure that it has time to cool so it'll hold the shape and then you want to start brushing it out. Once you fill out it cool for a while, you want to brush it out. I typically use like a bigger brush instead of like a small comb um, to brush it out just so it's a bit easier and it takes a little less time in my opinion, but I don't really know. It's just kind of what I prefer. It also kind of just depends what you have. This is literally just a brush from when I was like eight that I never used. Um, and so I just had that laying around. So I used that for this. You just want to brush the wig out, make sure you get out all the little tangles so that it's like nice and smooth again and you can already tell here that it's already getting a lot more poofy it's having a lot more volume and that's what we're going for because we want to be able it'll like make it easier to style the wig once it's all brushed out it'll look something like this and it'll look nice and smooth again um, it'll just look a lot more poofy with a lot more volume than it did before and you always do want to have a reference photo when you're styling wigs um, like sometimes you might want multiple if you want to see like the different angles of the wig but it's always good to have a reference photo even if you have like a video like this or like you know in your mind what you want it to look like here I'm just like teasing it again because some of it wasn't completely po poofy like a especially with like thicker wigs it, you do need to tease it a few times um, so that's just what I was doing here and I was kind of sectioning it off as I went basically I just teased a lot of it up again to add more volume because the more poofy it is the easier it is to work with when styling but at the same time you don't want it to be too poofy um, and with shorter wigs like this I do or like medium length, I'd say. I do prefer to tease it than crimp it, but I know some people do crimp it as well. Whether it be like a stylistic choice or what they think is easier, you could also crimp it instead of teasing it. Um, so that works too, but it's just a preference thing, so it's up to you. As you can see now, it is a lot more poofy at the top, so it'll be easier to work with. I started sectioning off the bangs next just to get like kind of a um kind of a feel for what it was gonna look like trying to like plan out where i wanted to section off the pieces because you do want to have like kind of a, a bit of a plan going into it because you are going to end up like cutting the wig so you do want to know where to do things because you don't want to cut off something you don't want to cut off and because it's not like real hair it doesn't grow back um and typically when I section things out, I do like to use bobby pins or hair clips to just keep it in place or make it so I can remember where I section things off, um, just so I don't forget, because I do tend to forget. I then started with the bangs, and the first thing I did was trim them, because bangs always end up being longer than you need them to be, so you always do end up having to trim them. And so what I just did was just took my hair scissors and I just cut upwards just so it's not like a straight line across um, so it makes it look more natural and less like choppy I guess. That's not the word but it just looks better. And then I took thinning shears which came with like my hair scissors 
which I got off Amazon, which I can link in the bottom or the description. So if you want those, you can check that out. Um, I do love the thinning shears. I definitely recommend them. It makes like putting things into points so much easier. I don't 100% know how to use them yet. Um, I don't know if I'm doing it right. I kind of just go with it. So I'm not gonna give any tips on that, but I did just like thin it out a little uh, at the bottom so that it would be easier. And then I trimmed it a little more. But if you want to know how to use like thinning shears, I de definitely recommend looking it up um, and not just watching what I'm doing, maybe. But then I tease it again because it wasn't as poofy as I wanted it to be. Um, because the poofier it is, in my opinion, the easier it'll hold its shape, which I think I said earlier, but that's not the point. Um, <laughs> uh, and then, so yeah, I just tried to tease it up again and get it to be poofy so that I could make the little middle part thing. It's not a middle part, they're like bangs, but they're also like not bangs. I don't know what to call them, but... After it was all brushed out again and I had it like all teased and everything, um, I started to shape it and I used the Got To Be hairspray again to just kind of hold that shape, just hairspray it in place. And once I got it in like a place I want it to be, I would use the blow dryer to set the hairspray as well as uh, warm up the fibers of the wig again and then let it cool just so that it would hold its shape naturally rather than like solely relying on the hairspray to, to, keep, to keep it together. Like this also helps if you like store the wig, uh, it'll keep its shape better so you don't have to like restyle it every time. Um, sometimes there will still be things that need to be touched up, but it'll just keep its uh, shape a lot better this way. And then you just let it cool, so yeah. Next I sectioned it off again because she does have the different like layers in her hair. There is the longer pieces in the very front. Um, she has the little pieces that frame her face. She has the ones that look more like her ears that have the like earrings on it I think you would think I'd know this but no but um then <laughs> she has the higher up pieces um and you just section it off uh, and pull pull the rest of it away out of the way so you don't accidentally mess it up I tried my best not to block the camera here but my head does kind of get in the way sometimes but for these front pieces they just kind of curl towards her face it's nothing too fancy but I just wanted to mimic that with it. Yeah, I trimmed it first uh, and then like fix anything that might have been separating. So I cut the long pieces, just made sure everything was the same length. And then I used the thinning shears again, just to thin it out a little. And you can't see it at all because my head's in the way, but just, pre uh, <laughs> just pretend you can see it. Um, and I'd also brush it out and just made sure everything was good. And then what I did was just use hairspray and just like the blow dryer to kind of hold it in place. Um, and I just wanted to make sure while I, after I blow dried it, that I hold it in place just to make sure it cools in the shape I want it to. With curls, you do have to hold them because if you don't, they might like strain out a little. And then they'll cool straight and you'll be like, where'd the curl go? Um, so you just gotta make sure you like hold it while it cools. Then I let everything down again and sectioned it out to do the next layer of the hair. Um, I only took like a front forward part of the next layer um, to do the part that frames her face. The wig was pretty layered in the way that it had the different levels in it. Um, so it was pretty helpful. It wasn't that hard to like section it out and decide where to do it. Um, so it was pretty nice to have that. I also can link the specific wig I have in the description. I'll put like everything I use in the description if I can find it and remember what it was. Like the wig head, wig stand, um, everything. Um, I just teased the next section again to make it easier to style. And then obviously I'm brushing it out now. Then like I did with the other parts, I just teased it. No, I didn't tease it. I trimmed it and then I used the thinning shears again to make them 
a little thinner at the bottom so it's easier to pull them into a point. And I kind of just do that same thing with each section. So like after it stopped recording, you still kind of just follow the same process. Uh, it's just like teasing it, brushing it out, thin it, uh, trimming it, thinning it, then styling it and just using the hairspray and the blow dryer to hold it in place. And I'm just using it to these pieces to just frame the face. And normally when I do pieces that like frame the face, I do hold it closer to the face because the wig heads are a little like rounder at the top than like my head. Like it's not the same as my face shape, so yeah. And I do also like to use a bobby pin at the top to like pin the Actually, I'm doing it here, but um, I use a bobby pin to hold the fibers down, um, like the wig base. To like, I just feel like it helps it stay closer to your face when you actually put on the wig. Used a lot of hairspray and blow dry to hold it in place, and it does take a few tries. You're probably not going to get it in the place you want it to the first try. Even if it ends up looking nice, you might go back and be like, it does not match the other side, and I like the other side better. So you'll end up changing it. There's a lot of back and forth, um, a lot of patience, a lot of trial and error, but eventually you'll get there, and it'll look great. I was trying to say good and great at the same time, and it didn't work, but yeah, it'll look good and great. Look awesome. And if you mess up, just remember, Pitbull's been there, done that. So, don't worry about it. <laughs> I just decided to continue with the front pieces, because she does have like three bits, the like one in the middle, the one in the left, and then the one on the right. And so I was just sectioning that out and then pinning back the rest of it so it wasn't in the way. Um, but I did the same thing again, um, teased them, trimmed them, thinned them out, then used the got to be in the blow dryer to just hold it in place or, uh, to style it. Um, and then just held it in place while it cooled. And it does take a few times because it is a long process, um, especially with more difficult wigs. And you definitely need to take breaks to take care of yourself. You can't just sit there all day. Especially if you end up using a lot of hairspray too, because uh, you'll end up like inhaling that, and that's probably not good for you. I don't recommend styling a wig on your head either, because then you can't like get the back and the sides might get messy, but you'll also end up spraying yourself in the face with hairspray so much, and I just don't recommend doing that. As you can tell, a lot of like back and forth, um, just fixing stuff, changing stuff, and just adding on and just keep going. Then I moved on to the next piece, which again, you kind of can't really see, but this is just a little bit that was atop the next, the previous part. I don't know how to explain it, but like the side parts had like a tiny little piece that was kind of just like hanging off of it. Um, I could like put in the reference photo, but that's a lot of work and I'm too lazy, but I'm sure you could find the photo I was referencing if you like just look up Yay Miko and it's like one of the first ones where it's just like head on and you can see your whole head. You can't see the back of her hair though, but like it's one of those ones. And she had those little pieces like on top of it. And so that's what I was doing there. Um, I just trimmed it to be a little shorter than the other piece and then just did the same thing as the other one in terms of styling it. Just trimmed, thinned, and then held it in place. And I did also like purposely glue it to the other piece so they'd move together because they are kind of the same thing it's just like a little bit that comes off of it. I started teasing this one again because the top parts, I don't know why, the shorter bits are always harder to tease and like stay in place so you do have to do it more than like the longer bits in my opinion. It does cut off in like a minute but it did end up getting more than I thought it did but basically you just repeat the same process over and over again um and this is what the wig looked like in the end with all the accessories added onto it too and then here's just like the side view in the back and just all the angles um just so you can see how it looked and then this is me wearing it and i also am gonna make a makeup tutorial well i recorded it but i have to voice over and edit it um but this will be out first and then the makeup tutorial will be soon, so keep an eye out for that. But thanks for watching! <laughs>